Well, 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 well. <laughs> we have Chef Tiflo here with me in the kitchen. And this morning, she's about to make native spaghetti. So um, I, I was asking her earlier on, what's the issue with the native native? Last week, she had native, we had native rice. Yes. And now we are having native spaghetti. Maybe next week we'll have what, native yam porridge? Yes. <laughs> And she says it's because she's native. Uh, well, anyways, um, anything native is welcome here um, in the kitchen. So, yes, talk to us about our ingredients. What are we using? So, I'm our native native spaghetti. spaghetti, which I have my spaghetti here. Okay. I have my veggies. What this vegetable is, is that? Oh, saint leaf and uh, curry leaf. Ah, okay. I have my locust beans. I have my ugu, my crayfish, my sauteed meats, my dry fish, my pomo, and the minced pepper onions and stockfish okay. this is a season cube okay and salt and salt fantastic um i like all the you know the the, the vegetables you're using today uh, curry sand ugu that's a beautiful marriage of not just healthy mm -hmm. nutrients but um healthy flavors as well because curry has its own flavor scent leaf has its own flavor and then mm -hmm. we think you know, addition of ugu on it. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a match made in heaven, if you ask me. Okay, and then we're using stockfish. Yeah. Wow, stockfish. Because I'm preparing native spaghetti. So I wanted to bring out the native taste and the aroma. Wow. You are going all the way. Yes. This is a whole nine yards. Okay, um, so let's begin. What are we starting with? I'm preparing my spaghetti. Okay. You know, I always assumed that... Um, Tiny spaghetti really doesn't need parboiling yeah. because it's so fragile. Yeah. And like before, you know, it Why cooks really quickly. Why I'm because of the starch. I'm trying to remove the starch. Ah, me. okay, okay. Yes, so we are going for native and healthy, right? Yes. Okay, great. So um, let's begin. Um, so we're going to heat up our water and then parboil the, right, the spaghetti. Uh, so while we're parboiling our spaghetti, um, talk, to, talk us through the process for our sauce. The sauce, after parboiling my spaghetti, I'll be eating my hoy, adding my onions, and uh, the dried I'll, pepper. Then I'm pouring the locust beans, mm -hmm. the minced pepper, and I'll leave it for like a few minutes okay. to fry. So after that, I'll be adding my, Allah. the protein, yes. Okay. And um, the stock fish. Yes, and, uh, the protein, yes. Goat, is it goat meat? It's cow meat. Cow meat, okay. It looks, actually looks like goat meat. It's cow yeah. meat. Okay. So it's already been marinated, I see. Yes. And steamed. That's a lot of stockfish. I mean, you're so generous with the stockfish. It's just so many of them. Yeah. All right, guys, if you're just joining us with me in the kitchen, is Chef T. Flo. And she's making native spaghetti. And we're not just talking half native or part native. She's going all the way native with all the ingredients that you'd possibly need. If you're making, you're cooking your soup, like your eforiro. For my four year I have my special special spice I use. Ah, okay. But uh, my special You're not using the special size spice in here. No, I'm not using it for this is spaghetti. I'm using it for any kind of soup. You know there's actually one more ingredient, which is the star of this dish that we forgot. Oh, yes. The palm oil. The palm oil. Yeah. Where's your palm oil? My palm oil is on. <laughs> The palm oil is somewhere because, I mean, the palm oil is actually what brings together mm -hmm. that. That's what adds that nativity to, you know, the native native. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it local. All right. All right, cooks. So we're going to begin, begin cooking in a bit. Um, yes, so we have our, we're going to pop with our spaghetti pretty soon and then make our sauce for our spaghetti. So, yeah, it's a one pot dish. It's not, you know, um, yeah, it's a one pot dish. Everything is going into one pot pretty excited about this morning's recipe. I hope you are as well. Do not forget to use the hashtag with up here on TVC to send in those comments on what you think about Star Dish this morning. We're going to quick break. The show continues shortly. Stay with us. Oh, things are getting steamy hot here in the kitchen. With me is yeah. Chef Flo, Tea Flo. The tea with the flow, yes. <laughs> and that's what I like to call her. Well, this morning she's making native spaghetti. And uh, we're pretty psyched about it because it's native and it's spaghetti. I think that's a non-conventional meal. Yeah. Usually when you have your spaghetti, you have it with the regular, um, you have it with vegetable oil and not stock fish, maybe minced meats. Um, yeah, so we prepare it differently. 
chicken. Yeah, those different bell air. Uh -huh. bell pepper. We won't make it like if we are making fried rice. Yes. But this one, we are making it like concussion rice, right? No, our late native concussion rice. Yes. All the ingredients that we typically use for our native concussion rice, we're using it in this recipe. So, Auntie, tea flow. So, yeah, over to you. Yeah. So, this is my Miss Pepe. I eat the oil, add onions. What oil? My palm oil. Okay. My palm oil, my onions, my mixed pepper. So I'm adding my locust beans. Okay. Mm. Mm. There's something about locust beans, guys. And I think if, if you are so good with, if you like the taste of locust beans, but you don't like to see them, I think it's one, I would suggest, or I will advise that it's one of the first things you put in your sauce. Mm -hmm. Like this one now. We call it iru iruworu. Yeah? There's no how you put this first. Yeah. You still see it. But there's another locust beans. Yeah, there's like another one. Yeah. locust beans. That one is for Ewedu. Ah, okay. If you don't well, like seeing also that. it, you can go for that one. That one is better. There's also it. that option. Mm. Or you could just, you know, the minute you pour in your onions, I'm just pour in your iru. Stockfish. Okay. Yeah, wow. Is that head? Is that the head? The ear. The ear. Ah, man. That's, that's the best part of the stockfish. Yes. It's got a lot of flesh. And also, so this, you're going to enjoy the flavor from the stockfish. Oh, it's just going to marinate into yeah. the sauce. It's going to give it a different kind of flavor. And okay. this means, I can give another name. Okay. Vegetable spaghetti. Hmm. That's not bad. That's not bad. Because you're making a, a, you're making use of a lot of Because the sauce is not here. like vegetable. How do you mean? Like yes. a furry roll? Yes, a furry roll. Yeah. And now when I say when I said a furry roll before, you were looking at me as if I said something strange. It's like making a furry roll. Because that's just how you'd exactly make your a furry roll. Yes. And then you now have the, the spaghetti would be the last yes. thing you add to it. So it's like making a furry roll, yes. but with a twist, right? But this time we are having a furry roll spaghetti. spaghetti. Yes. Aha. Or spaghetti a furry roll. roll. And what a four is vegetable, right? Yes, vegetable. What's the roll? Vegetable spaghetti. Vegetable spaghetti. For you, that What's is zero. The roll is when you turn it together. Oh. You mix everything. Okay. All the protein, the pepper. Uh -huh. you mix it okay. So we are going to call it a for roll spaghetti. Roll spaghetti. Uh -huh. Because that's the F4. Mm -hmm. No, okay, that's the sauce. sauce. The F4 hasn't gone in cool. yet. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So when the vegetable goes in, they will call it F4. For and then spaghetti. the spaghetti now goes in yeah. last. Great. All right, you can tell we're just having fun here in the kitchen, can't you? Yes, we are. I think there's nothing wrong with having fun while you're cooking, just having a good time. I think it's that extra spice that your recipe needs, right? If you agree with me. <laughs> okay, so yes, our Efori roast spaghetti is coming pretty nicely. We are enjoying the aroma. It's not ready yet, but we are, you know, just enjoying the aroma. Uh, well, it's the top of the hour. And, uh, well, we'd like you to stay with us. The show continues shortly. Hey. Uh, welcome to the kitchen, to Y Strings. Thank you. And this is Chef Tiflo. And this morning, she's made for you a four-year-old spaghetti. Oh, I cannot even wait. So you can <laughs> see the veggies in there, and you're wondering, and they, well, it's not hard to guess, but I uh, would like you to please enjoy. Let us yeah. know what you think about it. Absolutely. Hmm. A lot of heart went into that meal, so. Uh, uh, I can say, it, my nose is already like, it's, it's like, ah. Uh, <laughs> hey. Mm. Okay. Look. Oh, look at that. Mm. Nice. Mm. Ah. Okay. Okay. What do you think? It's very sweet. Ah. Oh. And it's it's good. It has a um, it has a very rich taste. Mm. It says it's rich. When you taste it, you know you know that it has the um, traditional, of course, F4. It's yeah. a little spicy, of course, African. Mm -hmm. We're well, known for our spicy, spice, uh -huh. right. you know, vibe and um. And I like the avocado in it. I like the garnishing of it. It looks healthy too. Oh, you know, it in as well. So I like right. it. Well, well done. Chef <laughs> Flo's head has swollen. Chef ah, ah. Oh, more. Uh, thank you so much, yeah. TY, for being here. Uh -huh. Absolutely. And uh, to all our guests for being on the show today, thank you so much. And most importantly, you at home watching. We hope you have a beautiful day ahead. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. 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 How are you doing?